Hello, hello. Today I'm going to be teaching you a quick tutorial on how to use Tableau to map out geographic regions for which you can then append other data like population data or health indicators, wherever you want. Let's get started. So a quick lesson plan. We're going to go over a quick explanation of what polygons are and how they relate to maps. I'll show you how to search for and get the required shape files, and then we'll create a nice visualization using Tableau. The example data we're going to be working with are local government areas in Nigeria. So let's get started. First of all, what's a polygon? A polygon is a flat shape with three or more straight sides. So says Cambridge Dictionary. It's basically any shape, basically a triangle, square, rectangle. Um, it's just a flat shape with a few straight lines. Now, how does this relate to maps? Well, if you have a look here, you can see that this is a region in Abuja, which has been selected off. So you can see, okay, that's a particular region I'm referring to. That's a polygon. And that's what we use to map, to map out different areas um, that we're trying to get information about or that we're trying to portray information about. And so the different local government areas are going to be demarcated using polygons. Um, the file we need to get to get this data is our, the files are called shape files, basically, and that's what we're going to be searching for. So um, Nigeria, just to show you, is a big country. It has many different states within it. These demarcations of these shapes are the states. Um, and we're going to go from that to something more like this, which shows, okay, the different states. But even within the states, you can see it's broken down even further. Those further breakdowns are the local government areas. Nigeria has 36 states plus um, the federal capital territory. So you could maybe even say seven, uh, 37 rather. And then there are 774 local government areas. All right, so all you need to do is go into Google and search for shape files for local government areas in Nigeria. Bear in mind, sometimes the data like this is not always easy to find. But in this case, luckily for us, it was available. So just search for shape files for local government areas in Nigeria and then click on the first one, which is from Open Africa. There you can download the resource. Um, so just click on Explore and then click on Go to Resource, which then downloads the file. It's a zip file, so unzip it. And then we'll move on to Tableau to get the rest done. By the way, if you haven't downloaded Tableau yet, you can get a copy at tableau.com. Um, you can just get Tableau Public version. It's free. You can get started with that. It's available for both Mac and Windows. So once you have Tableau opened up, you want to connect to data, click on spatial file, and then un go to the unzipped folder, which is the Nigeria's Nigeria LGAs. Within there, click on the SHP file. All those files are required for Tableau to work with the shape um, shape data, but that's the file you click on. And now you see the data that's available. So we have the state, the local government, area, perimeter, longitude, latitude, full name, geometry. But what Tableau really needs is the geometry as well as the other um, data. It'll come into play soon. Let's go into sheet one. So here we are. To start off, what we do is double click geometry and Tableau automatically pre-populates the map for us, which is nice. We can see this is a nice map of Nigeria. However, it doesn't give us much more detail than the breakdown of the different local government areas. So let's make it a bit more useful. To start with, we're going to pull in the state into color so we can see all the states will just add all members. Normally it wants 20, but we have 38 and that's fine. Normally there are 36 states in Nigeria, um, but I think there's an extra bit added in here, plus the federal capital territory, which is Abuja there. Next, um, so we have the different states, we can see them, but we need to be able to tell which state is which. So uh, we could, what we could also do is add state to the label there we go. So we have the different states, but 
what we're here for is to see the breakdown by local government area. So what I'm going to do is remove the state from the labels and change the labels to the local government area. Aha. Now this is quite a lot of data kind of hitting you in the face at one go, but we're going to make it um, more interesting. So we have the different states and they're all broken down by the different local government areas, which can be quite useful. For example, if you wanted to, if you had election data and you wanted to know which local governments um, voted for which parties, you could do that. But what I'm going to do here is a simple, um, a simple visualization, which shows you the individual local government areas for each state. So I'm going to drag our state into the filters. We'll leave all of them selected for now. And then I'm going to show the filter. Okay. So now that we can see all the states, I'm going to change this to show. Let's start with a single value drop down. So we're only going to choose one state at a time. Okay. And now we can see Abia state, which is broken down by the different local government areas, which is quite nice. However, visually to make it easier to see on in one glance, we're going to change the colors. So rather than the color demarcating the state, it's going to demarcate the local government area. So I'm going to drag local government area into color. Bam. There we go. So you can see within Abia state, we have Bende, Ohafia, Ukwa East, Ukwa West, different states, and then different local governments, sorry. We can then change, let's say we want to go and see Gombe. It takes us straight to Gombe map and it tells us, okay, so these are different local government areas within Gombe, Chigawa, Lagos, which is probably more well known. We can see Bajuleki here, Epe, Etiosa, Ikorodu, Badagri, Ojo. So you can see the different breakdowns there. Um, so I'm going to call this sheet uh, LGA um, by state. Next, I'm going to create a visualization with just the states. Um, with the states and the different colors of the states. Let's do this. So if we get the state, oop, before we state, we're gonna bring in geometry. Then we'll put state and color, add all members. Then actually what I'm gonna do is add in the local government areas as detail. And then, so as soon as you hover over any of them, you'll see the local government area name. Now, the reason why I didn't choose to label the state because is because this is what happens. Because I've broken it down by local government area. When I put a label, it repeats the state on each local government area, which is not what we want. Um, I don't know at this moment how to make Tableau just label the states and then still let me hover over and see the local government areas. So what I'm going to do is just undo that. So remove the state from the labels. You can already tell from the side anyway, um, which state is which. So all you have to do is just hover over and you can see the state and the local government area. There we have it. Just to recap on what we've just done. We explained what polygons were and how they related to maps. We downloaded the shape files required to make the map of the local government areas in Nigeria from openafrica.com. And we created two maps on Tableau, which can then subsequently be used for data visualizations. Maybe if you want to append population data or healthcare data, as I said at the beginning, whatever you want to do.